most of the carboxylic acid does not result in any change upon simple heating so we have a carboxylic acid and if this is heated and this is a mild heating we will have no chemical change but if beta keto acid is heated it will decarboxylate so beta keto acid upon mild heating decarboxylate so this is a beta keto acid this carbon is alpha carbon and this carbon is beta carbon so this compound contains a acid group and this also has a keto group at beta position and that's why this is called beta keto acid so when we have a beta keto acid and if this compound is heated it will decarboxylate that is it will lose one molecule of co2 and finally we will have this product so this is a ketone initially we have beta keto acid for example if i ask what will be the product in this reaction so this is simply heating so once again this is a beta keto acid it will decarboxylate and we will have phco ch3 that is a ketone now let us discuss mechanism of this reaction that is decarboxylation of beta keto acid so this is decarboxylation basically decarboxylation of beta keto acid x plus through a six member transition state so we have a six member ring so a six member ring is formed in the transition state so this is beta keto acid now between this oxygen and hydrogen there is a hydrogen bonding so we have hydrogen bonding now this electron cloud that is between carbon and oxygen flows between oxygen and hydrogen that is this oxygen hydrogen bond 
becomes a stronger and a stronger and this oxygen this electron cloud that is between carbon and oxygen shift between oxygen and hydrogen at the same time this carbon will have positive charge so we can flow this electron this side now this carbon will have positive charge so we can flow this electron between these two atoms that is carbon and oxygen so there is a cyclic flow of electrons so if i follow the arrows we can write so there is a double bond between these two carbons and there is a single bond between oxygen and hydrogen there is a double bond between oxygen and carbon so this is the product we can also write transition state for this reaction so let us write transition state so in transition state this bond is slightly formed and this bond is slightly broken so this bond is slightly formed and this bond is slightly broken so this bond is forming and this bond is breaking we have alkyl group and there is a bond formation so between these two carbon we will have a bond forming so this bond is forming now this bond is breaking and this bond is forming so this bond is breaking and this bond is forming and there is a bond breaking between these two carbon atom so you see we have a six membered cyclic transition state so this is the transition state and this is a six membered cyclic transition state and six membered rings are very stable so this transition state is very stable and having very low energy so six membered cyclic transition state is very stable and having very low energy so if you see the transition state we require a carbonyl group at beta position so this carbon so this is alpha carbon and this is beta carbon so if you see this mechanism for decarboxylation we need a keto group at beta position so for decarboxylation a keto group is needed at beta position and this keto group is not necessarily a ketone it can be acid also so keto group at beta position is not necessarily a 
a ketone it can be acid also for example so this is alpha carbon and this is beta carbon so we have a keto group at beta position it can also be decarboxylated upon heating so this keto group is coming from acid so if i heat this compound it will decarboxylate and finally we will have this acid initially we have a dibasic acid that converts into monobasic acid so we have a decarboxylation now if i ask what will be the product in this reaction this is again a beta keto acid it will decarboxylate so finally we will have this product so this is about decarboxylation of beta keto acid some alpha keto acid also decarboxylate so very few alpha keto acid also decarboxylate upon simple heating and one is oxalic acid so if oxalic acid is heated it will decarboxylate so this is oxalic acid so it will give formic acid plus carbon dioxide so this is about decarboxylation of beta keto acid in some cases if i have a deactivating group at beta position these kinds of acid can also be decarboxylated easily for example if i have a nitro group attached at beta position this acid can also be decarboxylated upon heating so we can say if a powerful electron withdrawing group is attached at beta position of carboxylic acid it can also be decarboxylated for example if i ask this question what will be the product in this reaction and once again cn group is a electron with drawing group so 
so we will have decarboxylation in this case because we have a electron withdrawing group at beta position So finally we will have this product. Now if I ask what will be the final product if this compound is heated that is product of reaction 1 are not heated it is hydrolyzed. So this is product of reaction 1 what will be the final product after hydrolysis of the product of reaction 1. So hydrolysis will give COOH in place of CN. So, this is about decarboxylation of beta keto acid.